Hello, hello, welcome back to the Snap-on Tri-County Tool Show. Well, folks, we're in the last week. We're going to be doing that draw for the uh, the free t-shirt and hat very, very soon, uh, which I'm sporting one of the new ones. It might be the one that you choose. We got plenty more in, so uh, you can take your pick and uh, hopefully... Good luck to everyone. Uh, I will be leaving the link to the video in the description. So if you haven't got in on it yet and this is your first time seeing it, by all means, jump over, watch that video, and leave a comment with what I told you to do. Of course, I'm not going to tell you in this one because I would be cheating. You got to go watch that video. So uh, do it a quick little update. Obviously, I haven't been on the page very much lately. Uh, I do have some videos planned. They're already uh, videoed. It's just the point of getting them onto a computer to be posted. Um, but I am going to do a little bit of a demonstration station tonight um, just on a few tools that a lot of people don't know about yet from, uh, from Blue Point actually. So, uh, I call it our sister company. If you're kind of curious about what Blue Point is, easiest way to put it is it's made snap on specifications. It just may not be made by snap on in a snap on plant. Uh, so they, they might be tools that you've seen on another company's truck with a different company's name on them snap on just basically commandeers whatever uh whatever tools at a lesser price so that you guys don't have to spend as much for sometimes a similar quality tool so like for an example this bad boy this is our at 157 r uh the r actually stands for reversible so this is one of our blue point air tools that uh that's pretty fantastic. Something that Snap-on doesn't make yet um, is a reversible cutoff. So a lot of guys are looking to be sometimes in a tight spot and sparks are either coming right towards you or a lot of the times they're going towards something that's flammable. So instead of worrying about, geez, well, how do I get on the other side of it so that I, I don't shower myself with sparks? Well, you create a reverse and a left-handed nut along with a right-handed nut to basically lock that in place no matter which way you're turning. So really, really handy. They're based off of the snap bar, or I should say the blue point die grinder. So they still have quite a bit of torque, about half a horsepower. And they will take on basically whatever you need it to as long as it takes a three inch disc. So definitely, definitely handy there. A um, few other things that we do have on sale. This set has been really popular on the truck, of course. Uh, uh, up north, if you're watching from the States, we're getting close to tire season. Uh, I'm sure you guys will get there as well. It probably isn't as cold uh, uh, as, as it is up here yet. Uh, but we're, we're definitely dipping into the single digits in the Celsius, at least. So um, starting to get chilly, which means you're taking lug nuts off. Sometimes those lug nuts are swollen up. And you need a nice set of blue point twist sockets now it's kind of hard to see and i'm gonna actually steal you for a second to try to get you in the in the uh the light there you can actually see the splines on there so it's more of a fine threaded spline on one end and then if we flip them over they are a little bit smaller on the other end with a more aggressive thread and they're made to take that stubborn that's, i'm gonna use that word i'm not gonna use another word but we're gonna call it a stubborn uh chrome alloy uh cap off of the top of uh of a lug nut so you can take it off and you can use the other end to twist the rest of the lug nut off uh we got the three-piece kit on sale uh the one that i was just showing you is the only standard one in the kit it's technically a 19 or three quarter uh this kit also comes with a 17 mil and if i can fight this bad boy out of here this is the biggest of the three a seven eighths uh as well so basically where they're a flip socket you just use it with either a long nosed impact uh, a long anviled impact i should say or use it with an extension you're going to lose a little bit of torque but still definitely a lot better than if you don't have anything so uh again if you notice the truck's a little bit of a mess we just sold that midnight runner toolbox that was sitting here and in place we actually have uh, something pretty cool if you haven't seen it on your local snap on guys truck yet i'm going to move these uh these wrenches out of the way and we actually have these new uh, tv stand tables so some guys use it uh for lunch some guys use it for dinner to sit in front of the tv i recommend using it as a side table they're a really nice wooden side table to come in a pack of four 
Uh, obviously, talk to your local franchisee for details if you want a deal on them. Uh, and if I am your local franchisee, message me. Uh, we only have three left, so once they're gone, they're gone. I cannot get any more. They were ordered from the tool show. So, with that being said, uh, me trotting around the truck. If you saw anything you had any questions about, let me know. Uh, again, go watch the video that's going to be in the description down below. And uh, good luck. We'll be doing the draw on Friday. Bye-bye.